Ladies and gentlemen, with this video I'm going to show you the new features of Report Builder 6.2. Report Builder is a powerful database reporting tool that is now available in the latest version 6.2. You get a powerful new charting control with Report Builder 6.2 and you get the ability to repeat column headers on column breaks. So if the contents of a column um, break over into a new column, the column header will be reprinted. Let's have a look at the property dialogs for the new charting control. From the properties, you can set what kind of chart you want, area, bar, bubble, pie, donut, range, whatever, in 2D or 3D formats. So there's a huge variety of, <clears throat> um, of predefined formats available for you that create any type of business chart that you might need. Then you set, continue to set the properties of your chart, like the um, chart title, the fonts and stuff that are going to be used for the chart title. Then you define the axis um, data, like the labels of the axis, the colors, fonts, and, and such. You can define the legend and what kind of um, item marker the legion uses, you know, set all things like foreground color, background color, font and such. And the data source is kind of the most important one for database reporting because here is um, where you choose what kind of data to use for the y-axis, x-axis and for additional lines like the statistics lines. So this is a little uh, preview now. Let's have a look at how that could look. This is a very easy report, and now I'm going to show you live how you can enhance this kind of report to something more exciting. So here's how the report looks live in Report Builder itself. You see the report is in preview mode now, and now let's play around with the new uh, properties that are available in uh, that reporting um, charting control. Select that object, the chart control, and then go to properties. And from properties, you choose the quick graph properties. Then you get the entire array of properties you can set for your charting control in your reports. So right now, <clears throat> this report is set to a 3D bar control. Let's have a quick look at what other ones are, are there. There's lots of 2D um, charts available like area, bar, bubble, line, pie, donut, range. And then you can always choose between stacked or stacked to 100%, depending on <clears throat> if you want to display your data in a 100% range or if you want to display your data using the actual um, amounts or figures that are available in your data ranges. So let's um, keep 3D chart here and just go through a little bit um, through the properties here. Um, in primary chart style, let's add a, a chart title now here. Um, let's add that chart, let's call that chart um, monthly sales. You can set the foreground color and the background color. So the foreground color should be something like nicely visible, like this blue here. Um, an Arial 20 font, maybe I want to use a different font here. Uh, it's just tons of fonts available in my system. Don't know which one's really nice. Let's choose this one. And then you can also set the chart background, for example, and maybe let's set the chart to a very light blue here. And apply those settings. OK, OK. And you see that the um, title has been added. The chart background has been changed. And <clears throat> now, of course, you can um, change into report preview mode from the uh, report ribbon. And here's the change data. We still have the same chart type. We have the added the chart title and a little light blue background here. Okay, let's go back to design mode and do something more here. I really want to see um, how the multiple product lines are doing. And to do though, I need to go back to the properties of this um, chart control and really go to um, to the data source. And here in the data source, I do want to add additional months data um, to the y-axis. Let's see how that looks. And you can see that I added additional uh, months to the to the to the sales data. And now you see a comparison between months one and months two, basically in here um, <clears throat> in the chart control. You can always then 
of course, switch to preview mode and toggle back to design mode. If you like this, you just print this as a PDF file, um, share that with your peers, or you print that on real paper, whatever you like. So let us go back to the properties a little bit more and see what other things you can uh, can can do. Quick graph properties. Let's see how that looks as a stacked report. And then again, you can choose if that is an area or a bar or line uh, report. I want to use an area, 3D area stacked report now. And you see that changes to this. You basically see the month added up in uh, here um, in that chart control. Other things you can do now as we have defined um, kind of the data at the basis for that chart control and the, the chart name. We can also put um, titles into the axis, like this is maybe a, a, a product. The x-axis is a product line or product lines, and the y-axis is the amount in US uh, dollar. I can all change all the kind, the background color, foreground color, font type, and all these things. I won't go to this detail now, but you see that now the chart, uh, the, the access titles are being displayed, product and US dollar here. And just go back to preview mode to see how that looks to be printed. Go back to design mode. And now do something more. We now have the, the access titles added, and now let's also add the, the lead, legion, show a legion, and I choose the item marker for the legion. I want to use a diamond, or let's use a, a, a star color. Shutters, font family Arial 16 bold. I want to see that really quite good on this on this chart and go back into uh, preview mode and you see the um, the legion here let me open a predefined report to show you the legion and these things so here's a report that has the legion defined and you see this one has like three um, y-axis data um, sets, months one, months two, months three. That is the basically defined legion. And you also see that I've added additional lines um, in the background that define the uh, um, data points better. So here's a nice report that shows invoiced versus paid data for a fictive company. Now, if you look at the preview of this one, you see that there's a um, chart header here. The legend is defined, access um, labels are defined, and you see invoiced and paid data. So this month went very well for this company. But if you look at other months, then you see that in most cases, the paid amount, the, the, the invoiced amount is higher than the uh, paid amount. So this is... Uh, just a sample, and you see sometimes that the invoice amount really peaks and the paid amount is really small. So that looks a little bit like a company in trouble, but you can see um, what kind of charting capabilities you have here. Now let's go back to design mode for this one here and add a statistics line here. So let's add the average here so that you can always compare the data points to the average um, paid amount and average paid um, and the average invoiced amount. So I add the average here and go into preview mode and then you see two new items in the uh, legion. You see invoice sum average and paid sum average. So basically you can com then compare the data to the statistical average of the data set you have chosen, which is quite nice. Thank you for watching this video about Report Builder 6.2. Now go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified about any new videos coming about Team Developer 6.2 or Report Builder. Thank you and goodbye.